So it is uh, two minutes to six o'clock on March 31st, and my SAT score should be available in two minutes from the March 12th test. I'm very nervous that I didn't do better. Um, I did about two hours of math work every day from when I took the test in January, and I scored abysmally. Actually, you know, I scored 48% in the math. I guess considering I haven't done math in 30 years, that's not so bad. But um, I didn't really study for the reading and writing. I only studied for the math two hours a day. Um, I did Dr. Chung. I did Salman Khan. I did Eric the Red, which was very helpful, though I did that after I took the test. But anyway, I hope my scores didn't go down, that's for sure. And I hope they didn't, you know, stay the same. I hope they went up. We'll see. All right, so I got my scores back. Um, it's okay. I went in the right direction. Not by much, but I did go in the right direction. Um, last time I got 680 on the reading. This time I got 690 on the reading. 95th percentile. I'll take it. Actually, 94th percentile. Um, last time I got 610 on the writing, which is the essay and the grammar questions. This time I got 690. So I went to the 95th percentile. That's pretty good. Although I have to say, I'm annoyed about this essay thing. I got the essay about the reality TV, which by the way, I've never seen reality TV, but I felt pretty confident in my writing and I got a nine out of 12 on the essay. Who are these people who are judging the essays? Um, and now here's the interesting one. I got 510 last time on the math, which by the way is the exact same score I got 30 years ago in high school if you recenter, because they recentered the test. So as a recentered score, same thing. And this time I got 530 in math, which is 54 percentile. And I think I've learned a lot of math. It just has not showed up yet in these SATs, but it will. So uh, I'm not at the perfect score yet, but I'm having fun on the journey and I am going in the right direction.